G'day folks, Michael from Doom and Darkness bringing you another battle report. So it's the last game in the Easter Warhammer extravaganza and tonight it's 2,000 points of my Iron Jaws against Colin's Stormcast Eternals. We're rocking out Border War and this is going to be a game for the third place on the official South Australian Age of Sigma ladder. He's brought the cheese, I've brought the jaws, let's get it All on. Alright folks, let's take a look at the armies and uh, here are my Ironcast Storm Jaws. So, up first we have the Yard Boys. Uh, I haven't quite got a name for those guys, but um, uh, I don't know. If you've got any ideas, please leave it in a comment below. Then we have two units of five brutes. I call them my Tomahawks. And then we have the two War Chanters. On the right we have Def Leopard, And then on the left we have the Golden Lugi. Behind that we have the Hebrew Hammers. They're the brutes with the brown bases backed up by Donald Trump. And then his Honor Guard, a unit of 10 brutes. Supported on the flanks by the Flying Pineapples, two units of Gore Grunters. So do you want to run us through your list, Mr. Colin? Yeah. Cheesemonger extraordinaire. Yeah, once I get there. Yeah. Alrighty, cool. Uh, I'll start at the front. So we've got my battle line over here. So I've got a unit of Liberators, just normal Liberators over there. And I've got a unit of Judicators with crossbows with a Thundershot crossbow. And then I've got another unit of Judicators with bows with a uh, Skyshot bow. And I've got these bad boys over here, which is the new uh, Hurricane Long Strikes. Mm -hmm. um, they're pretty cool. And then I've got a 10 man unit of protectors with only two star soul maces. Okay. And I've got a unit of retributors, which is another 10 man unit, and they've got four star soul maces. And then I've got my prosecutors at the back. And then I've got my three heroes, which is uh, Lord Zellison, the Lord Relictor, who's got Lightning Chariot for his extra prayer, and um, a Mr. Tootie Toot. And I've also got a battalion, which is the uh, Hammer Strike Force, which makes these guys super cool. Is that where they teleport down within six inches of the prosecutor's conga line out into my face and kill me? Yes. Yep, all right. And you're only running two star soul maces in that unit of protectors because that's all you have as far as models? That, and I like the reach for the stabbiness. Right, okay. Well, uh, we're playing Border War, folks. Uh, this is what the table looks like. You can see the uh, objectives are those small silvery coins. Uh, we're going to roll for table sides and then we'll come back after deployment. Alright folks, let's have a look at deployment. So I got to go first, drop first, and uh, put my, my uh, Iron Fist down, which was most of my units, which means I beat Colin in deployment. So it looks like this. I've got uh, one unit of Flying Pineapples on the left. I've got Def Leopard here hiding behind a tree. I've got two units of Tomahawk Brutes ready to go. The Golden Lugie is hiding out in that uh, building. He doesn't want to get shot and you'll see why in a second and then we have uh, Donald Trump's honor guard um, the president what are, what are they the, the presidential elite I'm not really sure what we can call them but um, they're sort of sitting right there in the middle on the objective ready to go backed up by Donald Trump the Hebrew hammers are there ready for support and then we have the Ard boys near that forest ready to push up and try and take that objective on the right and then we have one more unit of the flying pineapples uh, over there on the right hand side I'm facing down this freaking gun line though. He's got his liberators backed up by, by crossbows, backed up by, liber, uh, by judicators with his long strikes there as well. He's got bloody all his heroes jammed in there um, with all the new magical items of the Stormcast. Everything there is getting plus one to its armor save. All the heroes heal wound every turn. Um, everything's plus one to hit or some shit. It's yep. just insane <laughs> the amount of crap that's uh, stacked there. And then of course he's got his angels as well. And I reckon he can teleport them across the table with his uh, spell. And then I reckon he can bring down all of that on top of them. So he's got oh, these, you know, 20 fucking paladins ready to come down somewhere. And uh, I have to try and take the, take the objectives and also save my little butthole from all of those paladins. So I'm not sure how we're going to go, but um, I think I'm going to take turn one. And uh, we'll come back after that. Folks, this is what the board looks like after my turn one. So uh, what do we do? Well, we moved uh, Donald Trump and uh, the presidency. They all sort of shuffled back because I just want to get out of range of his long strikes, at least for the moment. Um, I didn't want to run across the board straight into all that fire. Um, the Yard Boys and the Pigs... Uh, supported by the Hebrew Hammers, they move up to sort of capture that objective. I'm being a little bit cautious. I capture that objective on the left, but everything is hanging back. I just want to be out of those long strikes range for the moment, and I want to give my my opponent every opportunity to see where all of that shit's going to go 
before I fully commit. So we're going to my opponent's turn one, come back after that. Folks, turn one movement, my opponent has moved out like this. Perfect formation. Liberator is making a shield wall blocking this side of the table and all this shit coming through. So obviously he doesn't want to take that objective. All his, shoot his shooters have pushed out over here. And oh, here comes the angels. And what the fuck is this? This is 20 paladins put down three inches away from my troops. So um, he used his Lord Relictor and the banner spell to teleport his fucking angels over here and then brings these units down within six inches of them and then conga lines them out to me. So that's awesome. We're about to go into shooting and uh, then combat and uh, you watch this side of the board just disappear. We'll come back after. Folks, this is what it looks like after charges. So his angels have charged my pigs. His uh, retributors have charged into my brutes first and then his um, protectors have come in behind them. So uh, we're gonna start piling in, resolve this big smash fest and uh, come back after pylons and combat. All right, folks, so this is what it looks like after combat. So uh, he, he piled in with his um, retributors first and killed three of my brutes from uh, the first unit of Tomahawks. Um, I attacked back and got two of these judicators and some wounds on another one. Um, then his protectors came in and his protectors made did quite a lot of damage to my pigs um, and then also to the other unit of brutes. My, my last unit of brutes piled in and did basically nothing I managed to kill one angel over here with the last pig, but we're just going to roll for battle shock now. So I'll start off with this guy. He's the lone brute boss with the uh, the claw and the smasher. Run, bitch. Uh, five, so he's dead. And then for my other unit of brute, they only lost one. So a five and one is six. They're okay. And then roll for this pig as well. So he lost two, a five and two. That's it. He's gone as well. So if you want to roll for your angels. Uh, angels, they got bravery six. They're over five. They're oh, okay. Cool. Uh, they got bravery seven. I lost two. So fuck one. Six, goes. eight. That's good. One. Yeah. Uh, I'll kill the wounded yeah, one. Yeah, take the wounded one. You have to. Boom. Right, and then um, now it's initiative. Oh shit. I like this Here guy's. we go. <laughs> okay, we got it. Okay, let's go. Okay. You've one, used two. all your luck already. Right? <gasps> I got a four, I got a five. So folks, this is what looks like after movement. Uh, well, there wasn't a lot that he could do really because his shit over here is all stuck in combat. Um, he flew his angels over here. They're going to shoot at those iron jaws and then he's moved these liberators back as well. So I think he's going to tooty toot with his trumpet now on that terrain piece. Yeah. Um, so 1d6 to see how far it goes. It goes one. One inches. Is that going to make still, it? Yeah, they're still going to hit him. Oh, so yeah. um, d3 any. mortal wounds. Yeah, let me get a good dice. Oh, take three. Three. So I'm going to try and put it on my uh, shields again. So first six up uh, fails. That's one dead because he's already got a wound. Second six up, I make it. And the third six up, I fail to make it. So this guy that's already wounded dies. And then I put one wound on one of the other shield guys. Yeah. Do you want to keep going? Yeah, go for right. it. What else is shooting? Uh, he's got the uh, mortal wound thing. So he's going to need an inch range onto those. And I have to roll... More than what, uh, less than unit, more than unit. Basically, it's going to order hit. It's an order hit, yeah, yeah. So it's two few mortar wounds. Yeah. So you're going to get another three. Oh, fucking hell. Yeah. So on the shields again. So looking for a six, nope. Looking for a six, nope. And looking for a six, nope. So that's uh, another two guys that die. And my adjudicators. So yep. these these guys are out of range because only 12. For these guys, we've got 24. Yep. So they're going to shoot that unit too. Okay. So I'll do the champion first. He hits on a two. He hits, he does d6 wounds, so I'll just write that now. So he's got five wounds, so I'll put him to the side. Uh, the others hit on a three. Five hits, you mean? Uh, five Yeah, hits. five, five yeah. wounds. It's just as you roll a hit, and then you roll the wound. Yeah, so yeah. he's hit me five times. Yeah. Now uh, these two? Yep. So three of those hit. Yep. So it's that, plus another four. One, two, three, four. And these are wounded on threes. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Pretty good for a fucking shitty battle line unit. So that's one, two, three, four, five, right? Yep, five meter one room, mate. So five fives. Here we go. Come on, Gork. Come on, Mork. So saved line one. So four more. I'm going to go off camera and roll these because holding this shit is killing me. All right, folks. So after shooting, um, yeah, well, you saw everything that shot at those black orcs and killed four of them, but um, they've still got inspiring presence on them from last turn. So I don't have to worry about battle shock there. His long strikes. Uh, shot here and hit fucking, they hit Steve, um, did two wounds to Steve, so Steve's always the first to die, and then over here in combat, his uh, retributors attacked and 
the poor uh, Tomahawks just got smashed. They didn't get a chance to attack back. So it's going to be my turn, and um, I don't know if I can do anything, but we'll give it a shot. Folks, this is what movement looks like, and uh, I'm feeling that sinking feeling going to my chest. Everything's running as quick as it can to try and just get somewhere where it can actually fight, because half my army is dead now. Um, the 10-man unit of brutes that were here, able to pile through this little gap in the terrain, one inch over, and then make the charge in. So at least they're going to get to do some damage, but everything is just honestly fucked right now. Um, the good news is, the drummer from Def Leppard, he lost an arm, but um, my opponent didn't see him hiding in the trees. I didn't see him hiding in the trees. I'm able to sneak him around there, so um, that might come back to haunt my opponent in a little bit. Um, there's a pile of dead. And uh, my opponent has no pile of dead. So we're going to resolve that combat and uh, come back then roll for initiative. And I just hope I get back to back. Because otherwise, folks, after combat, this is what it looks like. He did five wounds back to me with his, um, uh, what do you call them? Star Soul. Star Soul um, And I killed four of his uh, retributors. So roll battle shot for him, mate. Uh, please be one. Uh, oh, fuck off. Six. I think that's all of them. <laughs> oh, no. Bye-bye. Oh, that is fucking so good. That is the best thing I've seen all night. Now we're going to roll for uh, initiative as well. And um, hopefully, hopefully I win it. I'll go first. Yeah, I'm going to go first. Right here. Right here. Oh, yeah. You're a fucking dirty prick. Suck my dick. Two. All right, he's gone. <laughs> Fuck, folks. After shooting, you can see all those dead art boys already. So what happened? The trumpet trumpeted, hit the tower, hit my art boys, and then hit the pigs as well. He rolled a six. So he did a bunch of mortal wounds there. The crossbows opened fire and killed a heap of fucking hard boys. Um, the judicators behind with the bows opened fire, did not a lot. His celestine threw his hammers, hit me, did damage, killed more. Over here, his um, angels put one wound onto the brutes. And his long strike bows did four wounds to Donald Trump. That's probably the most tragic thing of this whole episode so far. Um, his movement was pretty lackluster. He moved the angels back over onto that objective. He moved his protectors up to get ready to charge the brutes and he teleported his unit of liberators over the side of the board ready to come in and fight some pigs it looks like so uh we're just going to do charging now yeah charge those two he's going to charge those guys Eight and nine i hope oh, fail uh, i got a nine. Oh shit Ooh. all right so he's in the combat that's okay and uh those other paladins are pretty much guaranteed to be in so we'll come back after combat all right folks this is what it looks like after combat um, so over here, he killed three more brutes, and I only managed to kill one protector, which was a real shame. I rolled pretty fucking average. Um, and then over here, though, it sort of went the other way. Uh, he did one wound to my pigs, and I managed to uh, kill three of his um, liberators. He, 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 he passed his battle shock, which was unfortunate, but I'm okay because I'm still holding onto the objective. So that was the end of his turn three. He scored another three points, and now we're going into my turn. Folks, over here, these useless pigs could not even kill the last Liberator. So I did one damage to him, um, but big whoop. And of course, in the movement phase, I ran my Black Orcs as far away from all that shit as I could. I've given up on even having a remote chance of taking that objective. So now I'm just hiding behind light of sight so he can't get me and making sure I hold that objective. Over here, I was trying to get these Brutes and the Golden Logie through the pass, but I couldn't. I didn't roll well enough. So now they're just all stacked up trying to hide, hugging the wall, trying to get cover from the Golden Logie, from all that shooting over there. Um, Donald Trump jumped the fence uh, and he's running through here. He wants to come in and get some, get some combat, but he failed his charge, but he kind of doesn't need to because look at all those dead bodies. So um, I got the plus one attack off on the brutes, the Golden Logie put plus one to hit on them and um, they really just went to town and killed all of those. I just rolled like a boss with my gore choppers and um, yeah, did a ton of wounds. So, that's probably the best thing that's happened to me since my son was born. <laughs> I think that was pretty freaking epic. Um, and Colin's just about to roll his battle shock. So roll a one. If he rolls a one, he still loses one. Oh no! He rolls a five. So that's the whole unit Bye -bye. dead. Die. Uh... Brutes! The fucking presidential guard. I'm going to call him the Republican guard. I have to say, Donald Trump protected by bloody Saddam Hussein's Republican guard. That is the best name for them ever. Um... And that's it, folks. Now we're going to roll for initiative. Uh, I get another three points, so I'm still up in the lead. Oh, yeah. And right in. Yeah, right there. Uh, fuck mm. you and your good dice roll. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> it's me. That's turn four. Turn four. The pigs killed the last liberator, and uh, these brutes here 
have chopped those angels to pieces. I moved these brutes, the Hebrew hammers, they're actually hiding in the building just so he can't shoot me to bits with all that. And um, that was a good turn four. So now I hold uh, three objectives for this turn, which means I get another five, five points, putting me on Movement. 16 phase and uh, everything else. He's just resolving some shooting at my brute. So um, he moved those judicators over. They're gonna open fire at those brutes and he's got a lot of stuff to hit them. He might actually kill that unit. And then he used his um, Relictor to teleport this fucking firing squad um, right there, nine inches away from the Golden Loogie. And he's like, oh my God, up against the wall. And they're just opening fire. He's just fired his, um, uh, what do you call it? The big Yeah, one. the big one <laughs> at the, the brutes, <laughs> which are now hiding. They look like they're in jail. Um, but you only did one mortal wound, is that right? Three. Three mortal wounds? Mortal five. Oh, right what a jerk. Hand. So uh, he just killed a brute. That is not true. Oh Folks, this is what it looks like after shooting. I need to roll some battle shock as well. So he opened fire with uh, everything on these brutes over here and killed one. That was with the judicators. The long shots actually didn't wound me. He got one wound through, but I made my armor save, which was lucky. But I need to roll battle shock for them. Four plus one is okay. And then I did lose one brute down here from uh, the trumpeter. So um, six plus one, I lose another guy. So that's no good. The wounded guy can die. Um, and that's the end of the turn. My opponent scored one point, so he's currently on 10 and I'm on 16. And now we're going to roll for initiative. <laughs> right here. Yeah. Mm. Oh, Shiza. I got a five. If I can cheat. Five Ooh. as well. Re roll. No, no, no. I don't like this. Come on. <laughs> you go. No, you go. <laughs> you go. <laughs> ah, no. Five. Me. Sorry. Good. All right, folks, because I've won the initiative, um, we've just sort of hammered it out, and there's no real way that Colin thinks he can win. The most he can kind of get is one objective, um, which may be that one, which would only give him three points. Um, so there's no real way he can catch up um, at all. So uh, that's the end of the game, folks. It's a win for the Iron Jaws, which is good. And um, that was a pretty close game. That was that just fucking flipped, <laughs> where he absolutely killed half my army straight away and then came through. And the heroic Republican Guard over here came through and save the day. So that's it folks. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.